Carlos Alcaraz versus Karin Hashinov is the first quarterfinal for the Men's Madrid Open for 2023. And both players have been very impressive to get to the quarterfinals. Hashinov started the tournament off as a number 10 seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Montero. And after losing the second set, he'd have to fight back to win 6-3, 3-6, 6-3. In the third round, he'd take on the 20th seed, Batista Agu. And after a little controversy at the end of the match, Hashinov would eventually get through in a tough three setter, 7-5, 4-6, 6-3, to advance to the fourth round. In the fourth round, he'd take on the number five seed of Monte Carlo champion Rublev, who'd been very impressive on the clay. But after a very close first set, Hashinov would get through 7-6-6-4 to advance to the quarterfinals. Algaris started the tournament off as a number one seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Rusevori. And after being down a set, he'd have to fight back to win 2-6-6-4-6-2. In the third round, he'd take on the 26th seed Dimitrov. This was no problem for Alcaraz, getting through in straight sets 6-2-7-5. In the fourth round, he'd take on the 13th seed Zverev, the man that he beat in last year's final, and this result was the same, if not better, with Alcaraz demolishing Zverev 6-1-6-2 to get to another Madrid quarterfinal. These guys have played twice before, with it being 2-0 in favor of Alcaraz. Both matches on a clay court, Hashinov not having won a set in either of those matches, and also Alcaraz serving up a bagel the last time they played. If Hashinov's going to win this one, he needs to make sure he's aggressive. It's something that Zverev didn't do. He just stood on the baseline and was just grinding the baseline. He needs to be more aggressive than what Zverev was doing, and also take it up to Alcaraz, come to the net, and actually serve big as well because that's something that Zverev did struggle with as well. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he needs to just do the exact same thing he did against Zverev. Hashinov is a very similar player to Zverev with a big serve and likes to stand back. So Alcaraz needs to hit a lot of drop shots, come to the net, hit a lot of volleys and get the crowd involved. It's going to be an interesting matchup because I think we all expected Rublev to be in this stage. And we also thought that maybe Alcaraz would have a tougher time with Zverev, but I don't think he's going to win again against Hashinov. I think it's going to be two easy matches in a row, make the semifinals, probably straight sets after what they've played last year. It was just so easy for Alcaraz. Let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one.